Hey everyone, welcome to Next Commentary. I'm playing um, Vladimir here against Zoe. Basically the bad matchup. Um, she counterpicked. I thought it was going to be versus like one of these two. Like They had Kennen and Renekton. and I was like, alright, I'll be going against one of them. And then suddenly they put Kennen in bot lane. Kind of weird. Um, uh... I'm gonna go for boots. Um, number one, because I'm against Zoe, I decided to try something, which is I am going uh, Tenacity Legend as my secondary tree, and I'm gonna be probably building Merc Treads extremely early. I could have also went Cleanse. Make sure if you're playing Vladimir, you either probably build Merc Treads or you go Cleanse. Uh, because if you don't, you're probably just gonna die if you get sleepy because you can't pool it. But when you do have the tenacity, you can pull it because you'll actually come out uh, way before the sleepy. Or no, no, no. The sleepy will come off before uh, the pool expires. So allows you to dodge it. Um, so early game. I mean, I just go for scale, right? I'm a I'm a team fighter, not a poke mage, and I just look to basically win through um. Getting a big team fight ultimate. That's what my champion does. That's always think about what your champion does. Laning phase. Uh, maybe I can win when I'm like seven or something because your Q is what ultimately needs to be scaled. And during the early game, my Q is not really the strongest. He's gonna get some poke on her while she's going for this CS here. You can still poke people pretty easily with Vladimir because my second Q is coming up here. I'm just gonna run at her. Uh, I won't be able to dodge that, but it's fine. I still have boots. You see how fast I am? She wasn't able to dodge it. That's why I want boots. And it m allows me to dodge stuff, too. I also would not go for that trade if she was level 2, because I would be running straight into Sleepy, and I don't want that to happen. So, I'm always trying to make sure that I'm setting myself up into a scenario where I'm going to win the trade. So, I'm still not going to really look for her, um, unless I know I have minions on my side, or she recently used her Sleepy. Because I'm completely fine with her just using her mana on the wave and just like not harassing me and I just get a farm for free and I'll just focus on making it so I don't miss any farm like I'll try to make it so I have perfect CS because if I do go even versus her which is completely up to basically you just CSing perfectly uh, you will basically outscale in the sense of wow if I actually jump on the backline with three items they'll just die and we win the team fight that's my overall goal so I don't need to win laning phase I can just scale up with my champion we see Rek'Sai is top side uh, he's pretty healthy he has both buffs so that means he might go for scuttle crab here Don't really want to uh, get sleepied here. She didn't shove it in all the way, though. Oh, that guy's gonna fucking die. Feels bad. Zach probably should have not uh, fought. By the way, that's Impact on the other team. So we're against Liquid Impact playing his signature Renekton top lane. Um, okay, Zoe went back mid. I was gonna say that maybe they're going to try to dive him with Zoe because she left for such a long time, but it looks like they won't. Hmm, she is walking a pretty unsafe way, so I'm just gonna pressure her a little bit here to make it so she doesn't go. I didn't even see that he got dove. I should have been paying attention top. Maybe I could have TP'd and gotten a kill or something. Kind of sucks that he got dove. I'll use one of my health potions. I have four of them, so... She does have ignite, so if I do get hit by a sleepy here, I probably would die. Um... If she gets one good long range Q. But so far I'm completely fine with how this matchup is going. He's gonna put a ward bot side. I have two wards down, might as well place one. That's gonna help me versus a... Uh... Okay, she missed it. I can lean towards the bot side because then Rek'Sai can't gank me from that side. Is what I was trying to say. Because Rek'Sai ganks from over walls normally, from brushes, so... Uh, I don't have my E here, so I can't really do anything. 
I can poke her a little bit. Um, he missed his Q, so we have to back off. I'm probably going to reset here, and I'll just TP back. She is actually pretty oom here, you see, so that means if I TP back on the wave, she needs to shove in this wave, but she's going to have a hard time doing it. I could get ganked too, possibly. I'm actually going to rush Merc Dreads here. I'm going to TP on tower because of that. I don't want to just immediately go into a Rek'Sai gank. That would be pretty unfortunate. And then I'll just try to freeze this if possible. I'm just trying to make it so it's like slow pushing towards me. And it is. So now she's going to miss a bunch of CS. And then I can get uh, a little bit of a uh, advantage over it. I'll just last it with my Q so I get back some mana. Oh, okay, that guy's dead. Bot lane's winning, though. I mean, even though they just died to that, you can see that they already got two kills. Or three kills, actually, yeah. So they're going to gank top here. Not a very successful gank. I can't really do anything to help them out either. Damn, didn't they just see Rick's I bought? Wow, I didn't get that CS. Uh, I'll just head top lane, like, partially and put down a ward here, maybe gonna poke her we just saw her use sleepy i heard it so i'm pretty content with trying to like get a little bit of poke on her because of that so because i have merc treads and my tenacity legend i am fine with actually trying to poke her a little bit i don't really care if i take some poke from her q i'm not really that afraid of it because she's not going to get a long range one from me. She needs to land a long range E, and then her Q is going to take too long to really hit, so she has to do a short range Q after landing Sleepy, so it's not really going to deal that much damage, and I can always heal up. So I need to poke her down before I can even kill her, too. Oh, damn, he just got straight up dove. If I had Ignite, I could just kill her right here, but I don't. Okay. So I got her flash out. She thought I was going to flash on top of her. So, I mean, I got something, I guess. <laughs> and I'll just wait to continue to scale until we get a good fight. Should be able to kill her here. Nice. Um, don't want to fight this guy. Ooh, okay. I uh, don't think I can stop this. So, yeah. Can't really prevent my teammate from dying there. It's not possible. I'll just try to CS this to the best of my ability. Use my pool to just get a little bit more. And then I'll just reset here. Zoe should be coming back to the lane pretty soon, but I don't think she'll come back fast enough that she can uh, get me. I'll ping that she's missing too. Damn, these people keep on dying nonstop to Rek'Sai. And they probably shouldn't be. Oh wow, they actually yeah, survived. Nice. Cool. Zoe ran bot immediately. I'm done with this game. Oh no. Damn, my team's just getting caught out right and left. Rough. Rough game. Wait, what? Where is she? Wait, she's doing blue.
sure. I mean, I don't even care that he takes it. We can still win this game. I hope this guy calms down. Because I'm not inting. And he's not doing bad either, so like, he should be like, alright, me and Vladimir will maybe carry this game. But he thinks <laughs> But he can't see <laughs> that I'm doing okay. And our late game's not that bad. I mean, Zach will eventually outscale Rek'Sai, I think. I don't know, I never see Zach. <laughs> Look at that, he got a kill too. Shut down. 400 gold extra, so he got 700 gold from that kill. We killed a Zoe again. I'm getting really strong. I already am really strong, to be honest. I'm trying to pressure away from these minions. Ah, uh, she's gonna die here. Yeah. I figured that we would win that 2v2 pretty hard. Just pull the important crowd control. You don't want to get crowd control this Vladimir, so it was really easy to just pull when Cannon was coming in. That's the only danger, really. My ideal no damage that guy, that's for sure. I really want to shove this out and then just reset because I'm sitting on so much money here. I really want to buy. So I shove that in. I get to reset. She misses some CS. I'm not going to miss much CS because I was able to shove it under tower. I can continue buying my items. I'm actually not going to go Zanyas here. I'm going to go Seekers for the armor. Because those are the only dangerous targets, right? The the Rek'Sai and this guy. They're probably going to go for this here. Um, can't really stop that. Probably it's just gone. I do have TP if a fight breaks out, but I don't really have a good TP board, unfortunately. That was quite a bad Q. It's okay. Okay, if they try to get Dove here, I have my TP. Okay, I don't think we can defend it. I mid shoved in. I don't want to go for it because Renekton's coming. We had a TP ward to flank bot. I could have maybe pinged out that I wanted. Like, if Zach and Orin go in, they both ulti, I'm pretty sure it'd be hard win. Not really interested in fighting this guy without my team here, so. I'm gonna run down. There's a fight breaking out. Uh, Zach is in a weird spot here. Hmm. We didn't get anyone. That was a really weird uh, fight, to be honest, actually. It's actually just too hard to kill Renekton at this point. I still need more items at this point to be able to do it. We need Morellos or something, too. Really important item versus these guys to make sure that the Conquer from Renekton isn't just gonna make it so he can heal off of like a Q for a bunch of his HP. But it's fine, like, I'm so farmed. All it takes is one good team fight, and I'm still going to continue scaling and scaling to the point that, uh, like, once I'm 16, have four, three to four items, I'll actually be able to carry a team fight. That's what I'm planning to do. Um, I'm actually going to go Morellos now. I'm going to just say, screw it. I'll just sit on Seekers. I'll immediately go Morellos. Um, finish Morellos, probably finish Zonyas, and then go for Death Cap. If he went goes hardcore MR, then I'll go Void Staff. If he doesn't go MR, then I don't go it. Um, 
I don't have flash anymore. That's kind of important um, thing to realize. I might also want to go to side lane because I have TP. Okay, I'm gonna try to help this guy top. See if a fight breaks out. Okay, we're gonna fight up here, so I'm just gonna come. Orin's probably gonna ulti here, like that. And I'm still coming, like... Okay, he flashed. So now I'll just go back bot. It was just in case a fight breaks out and he tries to turn with Rek'Sai or something, I'm here to follow it up. It's a really low cooldown, or a CC chain, so... Got him. I don't care if that hits, it's not gonna do anything. You see how short it lasts? Please back up. Please back up. By the way, if you use your E when your Q it has the two proc, it can actually uh, slow down how fast it decays, so then you can actually use it. Oh, fuck. Um, I don't think we win this, so hopefully that guy can get out. Okay, we should just give mid tower here. Um, that was not a very good engage by him. I don't want to give my shutdown. Uh, it's not that much of a shutdown, but it's still better than uh, giving tower and my shutdown rate. I don't want to give unnecessary kills. Just take the take the L sometimes. I'm like 50 CS up on this guy, so I'm pretty strong. I don't have ulti here, which sucks. If I had ulti here, man, I would feel so confident about this team fight probably because I, I am pretty strong at this point. Hmm. I don't have my ulti here, so not really wanting to fight out. Yeah, just give it. I mean. I don't have my ult. If I had my ulti there, 4-man ulti, probably could hard commit. I don't have good CDR yet either, like... So pretty unfortunate fight. We needed to play more slow, let them start the dragon, and then we walk in together, right? Not. One by one, one person gets caught out, then he just suddenly engages out of nowhere, he's just like... Going so ham. That's not necessary. Nobody's positioned yet. I, I don't have a good flank off. Getting a flank off as Vladimir is really important. So... If I can get three hits on her, I get phase rush and I could probably kill, but... Hmm. Oh, I won't even be able to pull here. Okay, I didn't even die. Wow. I mean, I just consider that luck. There's no way I played that correctly at all. Did not play that well. The Zag needs to stop, though. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> he needs to stop going in. Everybody is missing when he's going for these. We see all three of them. You see how there's three and two dead, so that means nobody can be bought here. It's not possible. So that's why I'm pushing bot when I'm solo. I'm just gonna hope my team doesn't like suddenly fight and uh, die because that'd be pretty. Oh, nice! Wait, they're winning. They're winning hard. Ooh, Ezreal's gonna get this guy. Watch E forward and then auto attack. An auto attack, nice. And then I have Morellos now. Boom, we got the item. So now we have Morellos for for that guy. I'll ping it. So I have Morellos for Renekton. Nobody has to go. Um, Executioners now, and then I can just focus on 
I'll probably go stopwatch and not finish the Zanya set. I'll go stopwatch and then go death cap. Because if I go Zanya's and death cap, I mean, I'll, I'll get a more damage by going death cap rather than full Zanya's, and I don't need full Zanya's for necessarily the stats. You go full Zanya's for the stasis, but I if I don't have to use stopwatch, then you don't need to um full by Zanya's. It's better to use the money to go something else. And then as soon as you use the Zanyas and you have the, uh, or not the Zanyas, the stopwatch, and you have broken stopwatch, then you can finish your Zanyas, because now the stasis matters, it's not about the stats. Okay, I got her flash. Just help me? Okay, cool. We got her real flash there. She overstepped, I hit her with EQ, ulti. The ulti doesn't deal damage, but since it hits, it gives me phase rest. So you saw how fast I was, the next EQ would have killed her, so I would have been completely fine. That's the reason why I went so aggressive there, because I knew that with pool, I probably can get out with phase rush afterwards. Oh man, we're being cut off. Oh, wow, wait, 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 wait. Can we do something here? No, can't, okay. I thought maybe we had Orn ult, so I'm just like sticking around because if Orn sees something, I'll be ready for the fight, right? I want to be close to it. I'm not really wasting any time, so I'm going to go top here probably. Um, my TP is up in 10 seconds, but we don't really have any good TP wards, unfortunately. I'll be able to heal up off of top wave too, so that's another thing I need to heal up a bit. I reached level 13, which is another huge power spike for Vladimir because he has level 5 E. His E is actually one of his biggest damage sources. It has a crazy high base damage, by the way, especially because it scales off of HP and AP, so... I'm actually just going to reset here. I do have TP available, and we have a ward right here. This is the best flank ward here. Okay, I'm really... Okay, I'm just going to run. Fuck this shit. Not going to deal with that guy. That guy's way too strong. If he jumps on me and he pops this with his ulti, he'll probably be able to like chase me down by using his E and then Wing me, which will you know reduce his cooldown of his thing again and then do it again. They do have two mountain though. They do it so fast. Holy shit! So I'm gonna buy a stopwatch now, and then I'll buy some pink wards because obviously we're gonna need vision control all around Baron because I mean they have double mountain. If they didn't have double mountain, they actually have no damage to like really do the Baron buff. So it's extremely important that we actually make sure that we have vision on it uh, pretty often. They're probably on dragon. Um, see, because we saw Renekton run down. That's the reason why. Um, could fight here. Okay, I missed. They might ward this. I'm just waiting to see if they walk in. If the cannon or something walks in. Uh, I'm gonna go back top, push out, maybe try to get some more levels under my belt by split pushing. I'll put down a different pink ward here to see if anybody tries to collapse on me. And they just killed my pink ward, so I mean, it's not really like I wasted it or something. If they didn't kill my pink ward, I probably would have kept my pink ward until they cleared it. They do have a sever, to be honest. They can collapse so easily on me if they really wanted to. Uh, I'll just let them have it. I'll just take like a small one to heal. Yeah. So I'll just go back to pushing top again. And award this. I'm just trying to scare him away at this point. Oh, fuck. Okay, we have TP coming in too. I'm not interested in fighting this, to be honest. Okay, I got the Kennen on my way out. Uh, we killed Renekton, which is good. We killed Kennen. Ezreal's going to die. Wow, he played that pretty well, but unfortunately. Okay. 
They're not going to be able to do Baron, so I'll take it. Renekton used TP, another important thing. That means if you split push his bot, he no longer can TP. I still have TP, so if I go bot and Renekton goes bot, I can TP and making it a 4v5 if we play it correctly. We might be able to even kill the Zoe, depending on if she goes back mid here. Nope, she's going for blue buff. Darn. That would be so nice if we got that Zoe kill, but because I used my stopwatch, then I'm going to finish the Zanyas. If I didn't use stopwatch there, then I would be going for... um. Whoa, bruh. Holy shit, this guy's aggressive as fuck. He's not even gonna get the kill. Bro. <laughs> oh, what? He actually did get the kill. Alright. Respect. Um, just because he doesn't have TP doesn't mean that he just won't come bot, though. There's a full possibility that he's actually just running bot right now. Okay, we see him mid, though. Nice. So that means I can probably shove this pretty freely. They might go to Baron immediately, and then I have TP to come in. That's what I'm afraid of. Them doing it when my... My Ezreal's bot side. Actually, he has DP too. Maybe not. Oh, fuck. Is that guy gonna die? No. Okay, cool. They're really going for deep vision here. Force them to do the Baron. I'm TPing in the pit, fuck it. Did we get it? Yeah, we did. I TP'd in the pit because I'm Vladimir. No other champion can like... Okay, there are some other champions that can do that. I think that was fine. Ezreal's the only one with it, but I mean, it's it's still 1,500 gold total, so. And we're gonna get this. And maybe we can take Dragon afterwards. Maybe. My flash is coming up. That's gonna be a really big spike also. If I can flash down the back line, then maybe I can one-shot it. Uh, one of these two. And maybe that will enable us to get a, a good team fight off. Flash is a huge, huge uh, just thing that I need to use for a uh, winning team by hard. What the hell? Did he just run forward and smite it at like 1500? <laughs> Not 1500, like 1100. Ezreal's so strong already, right? so he's just gonna buy. I'm not really wanting to like play with fire actually like this guy is not that strong anymore i might actually be stronger than him i'm 16 by the way and he's not even 16 yet so i'm just going death cap next they don't really have that much mr so Is there really someone here? You sure? I'm literally behind this guy. Okay, he flashed. Wait, we can still pick off this guy, no? Maybe? We do long chase, long chase. We have Orn. This guy's no flash. I still have Zanyas too. Oh, uh, this is cutting me off. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know why that guy was pushing up so far. Like, I mean, 
I was like, we just saw the mid, and it doesn't look like they would have rotated top because they would have probably, like, I don't know. I just had, like, my spidey senses were tingling or something. Rip my ad, ad revenue for saying that. Copyright. Oh, fuck. Both use flash. I don't like that. I wish only one of us did. Renekton's dead, so that's why we're playing so aggressive. That was a really good pick by Ezreal. I'm glad that. He's in, he's in a really strong spot right now to be able to do stuff like that, so. Renekton's gonna come back up. I almost have my ulti up. I don't have flash anymore, which was the big enabler spell, but now I don't have it anymore. anymore. It's kind of important. Um, there is a big possibility that... Okay, I don't, I don't want to fight this. Actually, uh, we can continue sieging. Never mind. We're completely fine. In fact, I might just go in. Oh, I can't kill the server. I think this guy got her, though. Yeah. I'm just looking to disrupt the backline, right? Like, make it so Saver can't do anything. If Saver can't do anything, my Ezreal is probably going to win the fight. My ulti wasn't the best, but it was okay. And we won the fight overall. Like, the Kennen also was zoned out. The Rek'Sai was zoned out. The Rek'Sai used all of his stuff on me. So basically, with Vladimir, you want to just be the most annoying character ever. Like, everybody blows everything on you, but then they can't kill you long enough that your team is just, like, DPSing. So basically, they spend all this time trying to kill you. You deal tons of damage to them to make it so that even if they kill you, they either die to your teammates or, um... Not only do they die to your teammates, but... Or they just can't fight at all. They can't join the fight anymore, so... Uh, I will have death cap very soon, too, which is going to be a huge power spike for me. I can just go in, probably land... If I have uh, the second portion of my Q here, if I just land ulti E Q proto belt on Zoe, she would just insta-die. Of course, she does have stopwatch, so that is something I need to be wary of. And same with Ken and this guy, too. All, all of these guys. Also, this guy has no magic resist. He's tanky with HP, but not magic resist, so I deal hell of damage to him, too. Um, I'm going to actually take blue because this guy's at 45% CDR and it's going to give me 40% CDR because I'm not at max CDR yet, so. I don't think uh, Renekton can kill me because he doesn't have executioners, actually. I could probably fight him if I wanted to. Actually, I don't know. I haven't actually played that much Vladimir, to be honest. I feel like he couldn't kill me. I, I don't see many Renektons either, and he does have a Spear of Sojin. I don't know how many resets you really get off using it. I do have Zhonya's, though. Yeah, actually, I think I would win, probably. Now to think about it, as long as I have Zhonya's, I'll be fine. Ow, that actually hurt. Okay. I'm gonna look for a like, flank play, kind of, here. So our team's just doing the Baron, right? If they walk in, I'll just disrupt them so they can't do anything about it. I mean, I'm just gonna get slept, but... I'm just gonna ulti... Oh, okay. I didn't know if he was, like, gonna actually be able to flash away or something, so I was just gonna ulti just in case he actually tunneled away, and then I'd be able to stop him. I have TP here, so... I don't even think this guy can kill me when I have no ulti. I'm just gonna stop him. I don't have to do anything else besides that. Oh? I got him super low, so... It's nothing that you can do. But I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Pretty decent Vladimir game, especially versus a counter pick. Just do what I do. Play pretty safe and smart around Zoe because you don't want to get early snowballed on. And just take the rune setup and go mark treads and you'll be fine even if you do get slept. You can see that when she tries to do long range cubes, it's not really going to hit you. So, uh, But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be in the final screenshot so I can take a picture for my mom. Um... Wait, I don't have flash. I thought I had flash. <laughs> Look how much damage that did. Anyways, I hope you guys know it. I'll see you guys next time.